So in this video, I'm going to reference the Serbian VIP passport procedure article and a lot of you have reached out, you are interested in knowing what this is. So I'm going to reference that. And second, the bonus over here, the main part of this video really is the second topic, which is the better tax optimized solution. I get a lot of calls for two specific options when it comes to taxation taxes and this is no tax advice but people are interested in two options key options and one is the paraguay i'm going to discuss the access as well as the rates right what what advantages you have with paraguay and then compare and contrast that with the other very important option in which people are interested in exceedingly off late a lot of people have been interested in the mauritius options. I'm going to compare important aspects of both these two programs. Towards the end, I'm also going to discuss six ways of obtaining citizenships. Let me first begin with or address the Serbian uh, topic here, right? So there has been a very interesting uh, article about people obtaining Serbian citizenships, the circumstances, the investigations, and what's really going on within this domain. Again, obviously it's public information, but we have been discussing this as part of our community get together. Now, if you are interested, in taking a look at what's going on, the article itself, and then you want to voice your opinion, have a discussion, read what some of the other people are saying. You can always click the link in the description. You can join our advanced polls and chat where we often discuss, review and share publicly available information. Again, it's a private community. Let's focus on the second part now, which is the comparison. Now, if you see the Paraguayan and the uh, Mauritian access, let's start off with the access. Now, the passports are smack bang a tie, right? It's, it's really give or take the same kind of access. One ranks at 31, the other one ranks at 32. The access is 45 versus 46. So there's nothing really to pick and choose in terms of access. Now, eventually, if you want to get the Paraguayan passport or the Mauritian passport, you're getting pretty much the same deal. The second and the most important comparison here is the tax brackets, the tax rates. Now, if you compare the two on an average for most people, you're looking at an approximate 10% taxation in both cases on personal income tax. And again, this is not tax advice. I'm giving you the educational aspect of this, right? When you compare uh, Paraguay, you're talking about 8 to 10% for most people. Again, the tax brackets will vary if you are a heavy income earner. And then if you look at Mauritius, it's 10 to 12%. Now, which one is better of the two, right? If you're spending more time in the country, then I feel Mauritius is more fun, has that richer lifestyle. Paraguay on the other side is landlocked, right? Limited access to water. It is a decent location. It is up and coming because a lot of expats are looking at Paraguay. A lot of expats are doing their residency. Now we work with one of the leading experts in Paraguay. She does this day in and day out. So if you are interested in initiating Paraguay for yourself, maybe you want to keep it right while it's available. You want to keep it. We can get you started end to end. We covered the whole thing. Now, the process with Paraguay has become much easier than before. Before, at least you required a 5K deposit in the bank account and you had to go through a certain procedure. Now it's very straightforward. As long as you have the straightforward intention of acquiring the temporary residency in Paraguay, you need not deposit the 5K in the bank. The only big difference here is you're going to get uh, this residency is going to be temporary instead of the permanent that you previously got. However, that really does not matter to most people who are watching this channel. At the end of the day, you're getting the same tax advantages, whether you're temporary, whether you're permanent. If you are going to live there, if you're going to establish a residency in the country, then you're pretty much looking at the same tax advantages. Now let's uh, look at the Mauritian procedure, right? So Mauritius at the cheapest uh, end, you're looking at a thousand dollars, approximately a thousand US dollars uh, donation to the or application fees, I should say to the government. In one scenario, you can literally get this for that. 
and some lawyer fees and some processing charges. The second way, obviously, you start a business. Again, you are looking at the $1,000 and then you're structuring 50K worth of investments in your business. Again, it's your business. You can structure it the way you want. This is not uh, any donation. You hold the assets. So that's the second way. And then again, there's a property purchase route as well. If you're interested, 375K and you qualify for instant residency there. Once you exceed the 500K mark, then you're talking about your expedited pathway to your Mauritian citizenship. So multiple options with Mauritius as well. Now, if you ask me which one of the two is the better, now, if you have a, a richer lifestyle, if you have slightly more money to spend, then uh, I would go with Mauritius. It has more luxurious options. And if you're looking for something in the middle, and don't want to spend that much money because you won't be physically residing there forever, then you can also look at Paraguay. We work with one of the leading firms in Mauritius as well. So if you are interested in either of these two options, you're well covered. You can always click the link in the description, book a call with us, and we can get you started. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, take this opportunity and subscribe so you don't miss out on any latest breaking news. Before you go, if you want to learn the six ways of obtaining multiple citizenships, make sure to check out this video. This talks about all the possible options that you have to pursue your citizenships. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you're sub and catch you in the next one.